Hey guys, so we're going to go over the New York Open strategy right quick. I'm going to try to make this less than five minutes and then we can get online together and we can um, do a Zoom and you can ask me any questions you like. I tried to do this when I was actually trading, but it goes so fast. I was like, no, nah, I can't take time to explain it, but um, I want to go back and actually show you what I do. Okay, so actually, let me take this super trend off. Um, let's take that off. And let's see, do I have anything else? Yeah, okay. All right. So here we go. All right, at 924 a.m., 923, 924, I like to know where price is. Okay. And you don't have to be precise. You can get the number at, you know, 923, 920, whatever around somewhere around that time okay so i just use 924 923 is a, a way of doing it for me so we're going to mark our candle at 924 all right and it's right here okay and then we're going to see where price is at that point and somewhere around here uh, let's see yeah open and close all right so let's change that to black uh, right here all right so right in here all right is where we are for our price and we can see that it's at 672 okay so at 672 um we want to get that price we want to know what our broker's price is at that time now the key 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 to this strategy is getting your own broker's price okay making sure you know where price is for your broker okay you don't want to put in the prices from trading view unless your broker's prices uh, match trading view you know you can find a broker on here that matches your particular um, broker's price but you want to make sure you go by your own broker's price okay so and how you do that you know everybody knows how to do that i don't even know why i didn't say that um okay so what i do is um i go 10 uh um 10 above and 10 below for my buy stop and my sell stop so 10 up would be 682 all right so let's make that blue All right, that's blue. And that's our buy stop. All right, so below would be 662. Well, it's kind of hard because price is like right there. Right now, okay, let's make that red. And I actually like to have the numbers precise. So when I say that, I mean like if it's 672.2, I would do 662.2. Okay, but we're just doing this for. You know, and you can go up here and do the coordinates for it. Um, um, point two. You can do that to make sure that it's correct and make sure it matches. Okay. Um, and then we're going to make this red. All right. So this is my buy stop and this is my sell stop. Okay. So we're right here. And as you can see, the buy stop activated. And what I do is I go, it went much higher actually <laughs> than what um than what it actually um you know where I where I usually um plan for it to it went higher than my TPs this morning, let's put it that way. But actually when it made this little retest right here, I probably would have gotten back in for the buy. Uh, once I have all my indicators on, I probably would have got back in for the buy because this probably would have retested um, one of my EMAs. So, but anyway, uh, we can talk about that later. Um, for the TP1, I go three points out for TP1. And for TP2, I go five points out, five from my um, original buy stop. Now, it you just, just however you want. I uh, put in two positions each side. I put in one position for my TP1, and I put in my other position for my TP2. 
for my buy stop and then same for my sell stop i put in um, position one is three points down and then position two is five points down for my original sell stop so as you can see um, the buy stop hit you know somewhere in here somewhere in here um, if it was 682 um, it would have been 685 so it cleared like right in this area right in this area that was clear um, but uh, if you feel a little jumpy I guess should I say about um, uh, about staying um, about putting in your buy and your sell um, what you could do is look at you know the way the market has been going and you can look at your bias and look at you know on the higher time frames and look at um, where the market is going and just put in a buy or a sell a buy stop or a sell stop okay now in this particular case the buy hit immediately and the sell took a little bit of a while um, to clear uh, TP but it did clear okay so um, I hope that's clear uh, I wanted to make it as simple as possible we can hop on a zoom and actually do it um, in live time but I just wanted to give you a um, breakdown of how it's done so recap just checking your time at 924 okay seeing where the market is it's gonna be floating you know of course but you know you can kind of catch it and see basically where the where your brokers price is and then you would go um, you know 10 up for your buy stop 10 below for your sell stop and then three points up some people do all eight uh, in one trade um, all eight points um, in one trade um, to clear the trade I mean to do just one trade um, or you could always you know have your as we say fob <laughs> finger on button and as soon as it clears this area you can get in for market execution um, and as soon as it clears this area um, as soon as it touches down in this area uh, you can get in for market execution on that so that is um, different ways that you can enter the trade i just you know told you how i enter uh, two positions on both sides and we can hop on a Zoom sometime this week and we can do it in live time. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. I'll answer or just message me. Okay, talk to you soon. I'm sure Dr. China will arrange a time where we can all trade together and we can go from there. Okay, but any questions, just let me know. All right, happy trading, guys.